Yeah, hi, good morning everybody. Uh, Ryan here with you again. Uh, over here at the farm this morning. Um, we're gonna build a 12 by roughly 24 foot uh, lean-to structure off the back of this Quonset building. I'm um, gonna be 10 foot high in the back and slope down to eight feet at this end. I've already took the the uh, Massey Ferguson here and uh, we've scraped most of the grass off because um, we're just gonna come right off the foundation of the Quonset. Then we got uh, concrete uh, paver stones basically we're gonna use as footing on the other end. And um, I know at least in Ohio anyways, if you're agricultural, it's pretty easy. Um, I know the, the zoning guy down here, it's pretty easy to get things done. Um, you pretty much just draw out what you're going to do on, um, I've got a, like a CAD program I use. Um, so made up some plans, took them down to him and, and uh, he just put it in the system. I didn't really even, didn't even have to go down to the county or anything, just did it right to the township. So it's a pretty simple process and don't have to pay anything for ag type stuff. But uh, what this is going to be for, um, we wanted to make like a kitchen out here, basically for preparing stuff and for packing things and then basically like a little break room. And uh, inside the Quonset, we're, we're building a chill room. Basically, you can take a big AC unit and uh, you can kind of modify the thermostat and you can get it down to about 40, 45 degrees, which is good for uh, uh, your greens and stuff like that. So you don't actually want it freezing, but you just want it cool to cool things down. So we're gonna do that inside the building. And then this out here, uh, just be another, just for cleaning, preparing stuff and packing stuff to take to market or take down to the future farm market we're building down at the other property down the road here. Uh, once the, uh, I got the power company coming in next year, that's the only access to uh, City of Ravenna's power lines over there. So we don't want to do anything this year, but the next year. But I said, I scraped off the site here with the, uh, with the tractor, um, brought the uh, 12 foot lumber back and 16 foot two by fours for the roof. Then uh, in the back of the truck, we got some of the sheeting and two by fours, but uh, we're, we're gonna need more stuff, but uh, it was, we was at Lowe's for like three hours yesterday, just getting this stuff. There's absolutely no help down there. You to, every time you need a cart, you gotta walk out in the parking lot. So I'm pretty disgruntled uh, with Lowe's right now about the uh, lack of service down there, especially on a Friday afternoon. But um, so we're gonna get started here. We gotta get everything loaded. Then uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the frame on, get the sheeting on. And start framing this thing up because like I said it's Saturday morning. We got a 50% chance of rain on Monday, so we need to get this thing roof on it and at least tar papered before we get any rain. Because I don't want all this that particle board and stuff don't do well in the rain. So, but uh, that we'll go ahead and get started here.
<laughs> sad. Huh? Yeah. All right, so we got the uh, frame set up here and leveled off with uh, concrete blocks. Uh, so we use a two by eight frame. We're using two by six joist here. We got hangers and all that for it. We got the, all those cut uh, to fit where they need to go. Um, pretty hot out here. It's about lunchtime, so we're gonna go grab something to eat. And, it's uh, well past lunchtime, dude. Yeah, it's probably is, but uh, I don't know. I Three o'clock. Pork chop in a can, I guess. Yeah. But uh, we gotta run down and uh, grab more. Grab a couple more concrete blocks to set in the center here, just for support. We will get six more of those. Let's get it where the rest of them are here. And uh, we'll hang these, put the sheeting down, and then draw out where we're going to put our, frame our walls up and all that in here. Because we want to put like a washroom in there too. Um, so like, like, like we want to have like a separate facility from the house. Uh, basically kind of a home away from home, I guess. Um, so we are got to run down to Lowe's and grab that stuff. And um, we'll go ahead and get this, get this floor up. And I want to get the back wall up today is the goal, at least the back wall. I'd like to get the side walls up before it gets dark we probably got another six or seven hours so should be able to get it done yeah we'll see you guys uh, after lunch This is our first day. <laughs> Accomplished not as. Uh... Yeah, we uh, had a lot of running around to do. Um, so we only really had about a half a day into this, but uh, at least we got it leveled up, uh, got everything sheeted and, and all of that in. So tomorrow we'll have to get it uh, framed up and try to get a roof on it because uh, we were looking at rain on Monday. So. <laughs> yeah, seems like a big day tomorrow. Be an early day. Okay, so... So we gotta get everything cleaned up and put away so nobody 
comes by and steals everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, a lot of things everywhere. We don't have that too much around here, but the one time you do was the time that it happened when you leave a bunch of stuff out. <laughs> Yeah, that's our day one. So our goal is get the get the whole thing frame up and the roof on tomorrow. Yeah, we pretty much have everything here now, so won't be as much running around. So, although yeah. it is going to be 90 degrees tomorrow, so. Really, I'm not expecting that. Yeah. All right, yeah. so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Day two, and didn't get quite as much as I wanted to yesterday because all the running around. Uh, I get this back wall up here the first thing this morning, and uh, maybe try to get the other end wall up too before before lunch. And we'll probably have to go grab some more two by fours. I think we got I think we had about half the ones that we needed. So. But uh, it's going to be another hot day. But uh, I guess I'll go ahead and get started.
Good morning, everyone. It's、uh, the third day. We didn't close up yesterday, so we got up early. So cold early for us.、Uh, God, I'm tired. So we'll start a day. Hopefully, we'll get it closed up before the rain comes. When when rain's coming? The afternoon around noon, if it does.、Mm-hmm. Hopefully, since we started at six o'clock, it probably won't rain. But... Yeah, we'll, we'll see. see. Alright, <laughs> alright. See you guys later. Morning. Yeah, hi everybody.、Uh, I think we're on day three or so on this. Three、four. and a half, four. Yeah.、Um, so we got had we got kind of we had rain coming in yesterday, or it rained. It didn't. It kept looking like it was going to rain. Then it rained a little bit. Then it looks like it rained more a little bit last night, but not just enough to keep the dust down. It looks like so. So it's kind of rushed to get the、uh, just get a roof on this and get it.、Uh, Wrapped with the Tyvek wrapping there, and threw some tar paper on the top just to protect it. But we're going to go with a sheet metal roof here because、um, it'll be a lot lighter and, and a little bit easier, quicker to do.、Uh, so we got the sheet metal for that. We're going to get on here today. We're going to get the windows in, 
and door. Uh, door and start uh we got siding so we're gonna put uh we got two squares of siding we're gonna put on here so i don't know if that'll be enough to cover it or not but um hopefully you get uh, like i said uh windows in siding on and throw that sheet metal on the roof uh here this evening when uh get out of we got direct sunlight on there right now so wait till the sun gets over that side and uh, be a little bit cooler up there on that black tar paper um, i mean i think you might that's why I have two generators out here. Uh, like the little one, this little quiet one, uh, it runs pretty much everything we have. But to run the big chop saw, uh, miter saw, it won't run it. It's only a 2KW, so I have to use that big generator when we run the uh, the big saw and stuff like that. But the little generator runs the little air compressor and circular saw and all that stuff. But it's uh, quieter too. It's a lot quieter. That big generator, it uh, it's it's a, it's a 12K. To, it's a big generator and it'll power anything here to power the whole house basically but uh i don't want to use a lot more fuel too that little one to run all day on on a gallon of fuel basically so that's why we got two generators if it before to head off any questions on that <laughs> so. yeah but the thing is that having generators is that we we rent our house out here so we don't use the electricity from this right yeah yeah because we got we don't have separate electricity down there because the house is rented out um until Octo we're moving back over here in October, so and we're putting the other house up for sale hopefully here within the next two weeks at the latest. That'll be on the market. Then uh, we'll be back. Uh, their lease here ends on October 6th, so we'll be back over here. And and uh, this place needs a lot of cleaning up around here. You know. Yeah, so. so we have a goal today. Start a little bit late, but... Uh, this so is not going to be as hot. It's only going to be 83 degrees today versus 90 the last couple so yeah all right so hopefully we'll get it uh get it done then get it closed up yeah. go <laughs>
Hey, hey, hey.